Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Xeno Blade Chronicles, the Definitive Edition. Now, I wanted to correct a few errors I have made already. It's been one of the worst, we'll say, starts to uh, a series I have ever had, possibly. Definitely up there. Anyway, um, so I have had this series as a whole recommended to me by many people, this game specifically. And a person I was actually talking to that really got me interested in the game, I was talking about uh, games that I'm missing by not having a Wii U. And while there is a Xenoblade Chronicles game on the Wii U, it's not actually this one. This one released on the Wii, which I had the Wii, but I didn't know that this game was on it. Anyway, long story short, I apologize for any misinformation that I gave. And I even had a wrong thumbnail. I, I was looking for stuff and I found a higher quality image and I went with it. And that's the image for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Anyway, it's all fixed. We're ready to continue. I do apologize for, again, the misinformation. So there was a Wii release and a, I think a 3DS release. There was no Wii U release for it. Now it's on Switch. And then there was Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U, I believe. Anyway, it is what it is. It's time. Let's get after it. Come on, see if we got what it takes. All right, so it might take me a little bit to get a, a little bit to get used to the attacks and stuff here again, but um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Also, every time I, I switch from playing a Nintendo game to anything else, whether it's PC, I don't have an Xbox, but PC or uh, PlayStation, the confirm button is always at the bottom of the controller, whereas in Nintendo it's on the side. It's it's weird. I don't like it. So one thing that I really really don't like about Nintendo in general is that button configuration change but it's okay once I get into it it's usually okay all right so the collectopedia collectopedia the latest addition to your collection can be registered in the collectopedia we're just gonna call it that uh, fill in a row or collect all the items in an area to receive a reward cool access the collectopedia from uh, the menu all right I got you all right all over it all right let's get let's get moving let's get kind of going with this um, let's have some fun I said I'm very curious. I haven't really played a game that I can think of that's quite like this before. So I'm very, very curious to see how it goes. Oh, oh ow, that hurt. I tried, I tried to avoid it. It didn't work. I do like that we heal up after the battle. What's an, an, an affinity coin? An affinity coin. I don't know. I suppose we'll figure all that out. So again, guys and gals, this is a completely blind playthrough. I have no idea what I'm doing, so there's going to be tons and tons and tons of mistakes made. So just bear that in mind. Just like it's serious, serially bear it in mind. What does this do? Come on, get those attacks off. Hey, we're not done. No, I, I wanted to fight both. I guess I didn't trigger the combat with this guy. Start like I wanted to. What is this? Uh, slit edge. Attack from the side of lower physical defense. Did not work. Alright, so we took him down. Oh, we got battle boots. A small bunnet crystal. Don't know what that means. Oh, there we go. We had some stiff hair. Do we have um, inventory that we can do? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, we got middle gear, which is already equipped. Uh, okay, so pretty much it's all basically the same right now. Except we got boots, right? And we got some battle boots, which increase it lowers our ether defense, but it increases our physical defense. Is this going to be the kind of stuff where you're going to have like a physical or an ether tank? That's interesting. That's always hard for me to really quantify. Wait, 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 wait. What was that at the bottom there? Oh, the different appearances. All right, I'm all over it. It's cool. It's good. We're good. Everything's good. We're fine. I think there was a creature over here. Yeah, let's get into some combatual agreements with this thing. Come on, buddy. All right, we use slit edge. I don't know if that actually did anything. I suppose we could do the backslash. Man, what a bunch of jokers! What a bunch of jokers, eh? 
What a bunch of jokers. See, I'm trying to throw a little bit of British and Canadian in there at the same time. Didn't work at all, but, you know, I tried. There, an effort was made. All right, where's this other guy? I'm, I'm going to bring him over to, to hang out. Hey, buddy. Come here. Get him. A life absorb. I don't like that at all. Alright, he's down. How far out do I? Oh, that guy's way too far away. Alright, let's go ahead and take this guy down. Goodbye. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Yeah, we got we got some jokers. We handle in business. It's cool. It's good. Alright, so we got Shulk and Rain, is it? There was a big creature wait. Oh, there's actually a, a, a I should have noticed this, a day and a night cycle. Apparently the big creature maybe went away at night? I, I'm not entirely certain how that works. I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting alright. I'm feeling it. Well, I'm not feeling it. Right, you're a lifesaver. Eat this. We can definitely do this. All right, let's go ahead and do some damage there. Take this guy out. This guy's done. Goodbye, sir. And then we can. Is it? We can switch characters by pressing. Oh, that's that's like an auto run or something. Hmm. Could we switch characters, or could we not switch characters? I don't know if that was a, a thing. I guess not. I guess we can't. I thought we could switch characters in combat, and it would be all like, Oh my god, you switched to me. I'm super amazing. There's nothing that can stop me. Eh. But apparently that's not the case. All right, so looks like there's a couple creatures up over here. And we going to attack them. I didn't get him with the backslash there. All right, I'm feeling it. No, he turned. He's kind of getting mollywhopped a little bit. This guy's done. Alright, and he's gone. He's gone? He's gone. Alright, cool. Alright, we got them jokers. They are taken care of. We got the stiff hair. We moving on this way. It looks like there's some treasure loot to be had here. And there's some more treasure loot to be had out this way. Plus, there's a weird bat or bird creature. Oh. Or not that at all. Welcome to Colony 9. Alright, so we're heading into town now. It should prove to be fun. Looking forward to it. What are we doing in town? Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Probably. Yeah. When I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. Sure. All right. Change party and equipment. I mean, not really. Visiting shops. Welcome. You can buy and sell anything here. Every shopkeeper has a weird tent, I guess, icon above their head. Selling loot. Make money by defeating monsters and selling your loot to a shop. An expensive loot and expensive loot. Okay. Do we need those for crafting by chance? Is there craft? I assume there's crafting. We're going to go to a weapons lab. It makes sense, right? Uh, quests and trading. Accepting quests. Press A to talk to anyone with an exclamation mark over their head. Complete the quest and they give uh, money and XP, or sorry, money, XP, or items. Probably not all three, but maybe. Trading, press Y to trade with named individuals. Some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. Hmm. Enjoy quests and trading alongside the story. The story will progress even if you don't do any trading or complete any quests. However, using these features may give you an advantage in the game. Okay, so these are all like side extra things that you can take part in or not. And you're probably going to end up with additional loot and you're going to probably end up with like uh, higher levels and stuff by doing said things. Which makes sense. It's Dunban's house. 
Isn't that the guy from the first part of the, the little movie? The dude that had the the sexy sword? I don't, I don't know what the sword was called. Oh, hey, what this? Ah, I got a wedding ring. That's interesting. Alright, I will say this game on, like, the monitor, and I'm sure you guys can see it on the recording, too. It's got quite a bit of, like, motion blur. There's no option for me to turn that off. And it, it's, a, like, especially when you're moving quickly or you're turning the camera, it's a little, a little off-putting for me. Like, it slightly messes with my head. Hey there, Shulk. Uh, what got you up and about so late? Uh, did you find some interesting junk? I always find interesting junk. It's what I do, probably. I actually have no idea anything about that. Wait, wait. Can we go into this dude's house? Is he in there? Is there a way in? It just says that it's his house. I mean, we can see in the window. But it does not look like we have access to actually getting inside the house. Or maybe even any building. There's a shopkeep right in front of me. Well, we can buy and sell anything here. Ether light. There's a bunch of random people. Uh, there's a weird creature. Oh, he's your resident. Curry that G Giorgio. Make it make his best curry of all. Okay. Friends have tried it too. Uh, if sure, probably. I don't. I don't know. That. Hello. I want to make some kid-sized armor for my son. Problem is, I don't have enough small scales. Mind helping me out? Um. Sure, collect one small scale in Colony 9. Residents have enough materials to make some armor or collect. Okay, that's fine. View quests in the quest log. You'll get it for me. Thanks. You can get small scales by defeating piranha haxes. Hope it's not too much trouble. Have I have I done it? Check. Quest update. Materials to Okay, uh-huh. Rain is about to... Or is at his shift now, so Shulk decides to go to the laboratory located in the military district of Colony 9. Should I go out and try to fight a piranha hacks? Is that a thing I can do? I'm sure it's not what I'm supposed to do, but I kind of want to do it now. Uh, it doesn't let me bring up my uh, menu. Where, where is it? There's a quest log. We'll set that as active. Oh, and it shows everything out here. I, I don't know that we can leave, but I'm going to give it a shot. Alright. Interesting. Um, how close? Oh, they're actually pretty far out there, huh? Oh, we got some sweet wasabi. What is that? Is that just me walking? I have a lot of footsteps. Let's do a battle, little, little Vang. All right, I'm feeling it. Backslash. Backslash. Side slash. Oh. I don't really think we're we're doing so well against this thing. We can definitely do this. Can we? Like, are you sure? Because I feel like that is not true. This isn't going well. No, it really isn't. Maybe with this. Almost there. I think we should probably not go out and do battling without a a compatriot. I'm feeling it. Run like the wind, Binky. Hiya! Oh, he left. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely not uh, suited well for combat at this particular moment. At least solo combat. Uh, I don't think we were supposed to leave town. And I decided to do a bad thing. So, my bad. Sorry. Alright, so these green dots. I can trade with you. Hello. Okay. A trade, no problem. 
Select the item you want. Uh, items are exchanged one for one. Choose an item you want from amongst those offered by the person you were talking to. Uh, you can only trade if you hand over an item that is worth more money than the one you want to take. Select an item you don't mind parting with and agree to trade. Hand over a really valuable item and you might get some kind of bonus. Uh, choose an item that you like. I guess a muddy pelt. And apparently I can literally trade you anything that I have, I guess. And it's fine. Or we can do materials. That's probably better. I'll give you a small shell. How about that? Yeah. Take all. See you. View relationships with the affinity chart. Talking to named residents of an area or town will register them on the affinity chart, which shows the relationships between party members and the residents. Sweet, I guess. Your first friend. Tutorial added. Huh. Oh, my. I mean, oh, my. All right, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I got that, like, ridiculous jump that I can do. All right, talk to me. What, what, do, you, what do you guys to say? Buy one of these fabulous ether lamps. It'll brighten up any home. Good quality products, just like the ones that light up the colony. In stock, but going fast, 50% off. Act now. All right, and then you, sir, what would you like me to trade with you? Some colony cuffs. Oh, I think that's fascinating. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I don't need that. Oh, wait, wait, we got other options. Ether defense up. It's a gem. Okay, and then we got a cool potato. Ah, yeah, a cooling green root that is particularly, particularly valued in summer. Interesting. What if I give you a giant hornet? Actually, I don't think I want to give you a giant. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that now. I don't know what I can trade when I can't trade, and that seemed like that might have been a thing. What? Oh, this is this is the this is the chart. How? What? I don't. What? What? Is, what is? What does that mean? Like uh, the closer they are to us, the more they like us. I'm not. I'm not real sure. It's fine. All right, we're gonna go here. Well, we're gonna sell, I guess, to start with. Selling items, category tabs, uh, items to sell. Select the item you wish to sell. Press A. Switch between with Z, L, and R. And E is equipped on stuff that's equipped, or an E is displayed on stuff that's equipped. That makes sense. Um... I guess we don't need colony shoes, but I'll, I'll hold on to them just in case. Uh, I don't know what crystals are for. I don't know if this is something I need to sell. These are collectibles. These are materials, which sound like they would be used in crafting. Like, I don't know enough about stuff right now to say whether I should sell or not sell. Select the item you wish to buy, press A, L and R, we'll select which character to display the stats with, remember to equip items after purchasing them by selecting them from the equipment menu. Alright. So it doesn't look like anything that we can purchase, Shulk can use? But he can use all the armor. Even the heavy armor. Interesting. They can't use a bikini top. Apparently, that's not allowed. Um, protector gauntlet. That's basically the same thing we have now, except because it's plus two ether defense. Interesting stuff. There's definitely some, like, straight upgrades. Like this one. You get a little bit of, uh, a little bit more weight. With uh, Regna's leggings, but we get plus 11, plus 1. I mean, that's not bad. This is plus 21, plus 7, the Imperial Girdle. Some good stuff out there. I mean, it's all pretty expensive, but good stuff. Now, what is this? Intermediate allows Rain to learn further levels of this art. Oh, okay, I see. So, some extra stuff there for us. Alright, that's cool. 
All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. I guess now's not the time to buy and or sell again because I don't know what I can buy or sell. What I should. Um, let's. What is this weird thing in the middle of town here? What is that? Do we get a legend or some sort? Nope. There's no way to really access it either, from what I can see. Does that say shrine? Oh, it says Shura. Okay, well, I don't know what it is, but it's there. Maybe it provides heat or oxygen or who knows. Who can say? Alright, so we have one mission objective. I'm assuming we can have multiple quests. Let's go over to this guy. And or gal. It's a gal. Hello. What's up, Desiree? Oh, Shulk, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've broken my watch. Look, it's in pieces. I'm terrible with machines, even little ones like this. Would you mind fixing it for me? You don't have to be good with machines to be careful with them. You just have to be careful. Wasn't your father good with machines? I'd have thought fixing things would be the first thing he'd teach you. Ah, uh, not just good. He was amazing. When I was little, I used to marvel at how he swung that hammer. But he's gone now, and as hard as I try, I can't be like he was. I, I'm sorry, Desiree. I didn't mean to be rude. Ah, it's so easy to make you go all timid. Seriously, don't worry about it. It's been a year since then. I'm, I'm back on my feet. Anyway, are you going to fix my watch or not? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. Brilliant! I'll leave it in your capable hands. Isn't it, it, or it's in pretty bad shape. I'll have to use the equipment in the lab, so it might take a while. All right. Well, I mean, she doesn't take care of her watch. I mean, what does it say about her as a person? To not give her watches, I guess. Oh, this leads up and over. That's interesting. This is a pretty massive town, I must admit. Nighttime is very quiet. It's my favorite time of day. When at daytime, kids are loud and, and noisy, uh, they annoy me loads. So, I like the nighttime. Best. Alright. Cool. Colony 9 person. Huh. Interesting. Who you? Good day. Good day. There's an old woman who hangs around here every morning. She keeps ranting about the same thing. It sounds pretty suspicious to me, though. Don't let her fool you. I shan't let her fool me. Well, I suppose we should probably head toward our, like, mission objective. Oh, that's interesting. Come down this way. Now we're back on the ground floor. Okay. Well... I mean, we're almost out of time for the episode, but let's get a little bit further along and see what we can do. What are these things? Oh, they're walking this cool. yeah. oh they disappeared. Military district just up ahead. It just pollen orbs throw away. Oh, you homs. I mean, it's just stones throw away. Uh huh. My lovely Armas delivery, delivering goods to residential district. Same job every day, but my lovely Armas works so hard. Cool. Oh, and we found the central plaza. Plaza. And we're gonna go over here. Maybe that denotes a plaza. Hello. Hello. I've lost something really important. My wedding. Ring. I found it. It's so small. I've looked all over, but I can't find it anywhere. Can you help me out? I can. And guess what? I really don't want my wife to have to go at uh, to have a go at me. I'm counting on you. Well, guess what? My quest is completed. Boom! I can feel the power. I can feel the power. Ooh, I, I leveled up from that. I learned an art and everything. That's great. I love everything about that. That's fantastic. You know, we should have probably slept at some point. It's it's four in the morning. We've been kind of doing a lot of stuff. Is there a run button? Like, I'm okay with her. Oh, God. I'm okay with her not being a uh -oh, run button, but still. Discovering landmarks. The colony features landmarks, important places and hidden areas, and locations, places of interest. 
Find all of the landmarks and locations in the area to open up the complete area map. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Can I? How do I? Oh, like that. Okay. Wait, how do I close this? Alright, looks like we made it here. Let's see what happens, and then I guess we'll break it all off. The world will be a better place. Or a worse place. So yes, I apologize, folks, for my misinformation, like I said. Uh, I was led astray, and usually I fact-check stuff and I look things up, but it was just a uh, probably you misunderstanding idiots! on my part. What oh. the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Yep. Crashing the mobile Vengara. artillery into That is a house. mustache. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. What is this music? But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots. Move it. Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press ups from both of you! Good luck. And you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why! Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Well, that was really weird. I'll, I'll turn down the music a little bit in the, in the next episode, guys and girls. I thought I had all the uh, the mix correct, but apparently not quite so. All right, folks, this is going to be where we break off the episode. We're going to walk around and figure out all the chaos and craziness that's going on in this little sector of our lands. And hopefully it all goes well. And we'll continue our adventure in the next episode. Till then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>